with the help of our partners, the representative for children and youth, who, who with me is united in this, uh, in this desire, and the Adoptive Families Association and other partners. We pledged to find forever homes for 600 children and youth over two years. Today, I am really proud and really happy to announce that we exceeded that goal. 644 children and youth are no longer waiting forever, for a forever home. I know Minister Kadu from almost the very first time I met her, talked about how this was an important issue and she hoped that she could bring leadership to the ministry and a commitment to the ministry. And I, I really want to recognize today that she has proven that and that this was no small task. I know she's not taking credit for it, um, but by providing that type of unwavering leadership in the ministry, supporting staff, partnering with organizations like the Adoptive Families, Choices, and other adoptions agencies, and a number of community um, organizations has allowed, I think, all of us to work together to come together and see how important this is. Every youth deserves a loving home that will cherish them for who they are and guide them to be the great individuals they can be. I'd like to thank the minister for all the work she's doing, for her passion and commitment to moving this initiative forward. All my relations. We couldn't have all 644 of those children in the room with us today, but they're here in spirit. Each balloon represents a child in British Columbia who now has a home, thanks to the tireless efforts of staff in, the MC, in MCFD and our partner agencies, and thanks to the parents who opened up their homes and hearts.